Hey YouTubers, it's Charlie. So this is going to be a Rick and Stark video all about season six. Just careful for spoilers if you're not caught up because some really big twists just happened. The director answered some big questions. So recently we saw Rick and Stark come back on Game of Thrones. It looks like House Umber has betrayed the Starks and is now working with Ramsay Bolton. This is small John Umber. They say that great John Umber is dead on the TV show. Now the thing that drove everyone crazy after the episode wasn't so much Rick and Stark being captured because that really sucks. Osha, may she rest in peace, also really terrible to lose her. But when small John Umber throws Shaggy Dog's head on the table as proof that he has Rick and Stark, everyone's like, that head is not big enough to be a direwolf's head. It should be way bigger. It led to all kinds of theories. People took it as a sign that there was an Umber conspiracy, thinking that it was tied to the idea of the Great Northern Conspiracy, which I'll explain in a second. But just the idea that the Umbers were only pretending to hand Rick and Stark over, and if there was some big battle, they would turn on Ramsay Snow. The problem with that is that the director of the episode answered a couple big questions. People were like, hey, you know, this, this head isn't big enough to be Shaggy Dogs. And he was like, the prop master assured me that this was a dire wolf's head. So why would the Umbers kill Shaggy Dog if they were planning on betraying Ramsay Snow? So I think they just want to present Small John Umber on the TV show as a total asshole who doesn't care anything about his father's allegiance to House Stark and just wants to get rid of the wildlings. So he sees an opportunity... So all that really does is just throw water on the Great Northern Conspiracy for the TV show. It can still totally be a thing in the books. The books are way more intricate, way more complicated, way more characters. There's the Manderleys, Lord Too Fat to Sit a Horse. We haven't seen a lot of those people that are involved in the Grand Northern Conspiracy on the TV show yet. And as we talk about Northern Conspiracy on the TV show, you could really just simplify and call it the North Remembers storyline. A lot of people got bummed out after that Umber betrayal. Does the North not remember? You have to remember that there's other points in the trailer that reveal them in other northern houses. So yes, some of the North has betrayed House Stark, but that doesn't mean the entire North does not remember. House Mormon, I think, will be one of those houses. There will be people that will help Jon Snow and Sansa fight the Boltons. But I think for the TV show, just for the TV show, they wanted it to seem more like an even fight. Like if you think about the books, the Vale can raise 45,000 troops, the North can raise a little bit more than that, so you add in the wildlings from the books and it becomes this very uneven fight. So I think in the name of plausibility for the TV show, they've shrunk the numbers and they've evened the sides just a little bit. Like you have the Snow Bowl, you have Jon Snow, Sansa, you have Ramsay on the other side. They just want Ramsay to seem like an actual threat. They don't want it to be completely empty. Even though I think we all believe that Jon Snow is going to just ride right over him. But what about Dire Wolves, R.I.P. Shaggy Dog? I think we're all hoping that the Dire Wolves that are still alive, like Ghost, will do away with Ramsay. He's so fond of his hounds, feeding things to his hounds. He fed his dead girlfriend and he fed his stepmother and his baby stepbrother to those hounds. So I think we can agree that it's only poetic that he becomes meat for the dire wolves that are still alive. We still have Ghost, we still have Bran's dire wolf Summer, and we still have Arya's dire wolf Nymeria. But as of right now, Nymeria is still in the Riverlands running around with a super pack. Because of her size and her power, she's become this super alpha and has like a super pack of wolves that follow her. A pack that's way bigger than a normal pack of wolves. No idea if the TV show is going to do that. But another big difference between the show and the books is this Grand Northern Conspiracy goes all the way down to the Riverlands in the books. Way more people. The TV show is really keeping this up in the north. Like Littlefinger in the Vale is the closest connection that we have, and that's only because he is so closely connected with Sansa's character. Otherwise, everybody else probably wouldn't be paying attention to it. They'd be more worried about what's going on in King's Landing. Oh my god, look, the Queen's gonna be walking naked through the streets. Let's talk about that. So given that we're only about halfway through the season, there, there could be some more evidence that people will turn against Ramsay. I do like the idea that evil turns against itself. So there might be a number of reasons why Ramsay's army falls apart. Like there could be people that just abandon him mid-fight. Like, we don't want to die. Screw you guys. We're going home. But I don't think that it's going to be tied to the idea of the Grand Northern Conspiracy. So if Shaggy Dog is dead though, what does that mean for Rick and Stark's future on the TV show? Is he going to die? They already killed Osha, so his days are numbered and Ramsay is really unpredictable. You can't trust anything he says. So I definitely think that Rickon's chances of dying went up to like 80% on the TV show. There's still a part of me that's like, maybe, you know, he might make it out, but I do feel like the show could kill him and it wouldn't destroy any future plot line. Because think about what's happening. Sansa wants to retake her home, so what would happen if they were successful? She would probably live there and rule as War Daenerys of the North. 
Jon Snow, even if he's part Targaryen, before she came along, he was totally ready to go on vacation for the rest of his life. Just like, peace, I'm out of here. So when they retake Winterfell, and I definitely think they will, I think Sansa's gonna be the one to rule there. To, you know, leaving Jon Snow free to go off and do something else. But you have to remember that this is just a step on the ladder up to the War for the Dawn. Like, things are just getting crazier and crazier as the season gets on. So even though there's this big snow bowl that's shaping up for the end of the season, that says nothing about what's going to be happening with the fight against the White Walkers. But here's my big question for you guys. Let me know in the comments, what do you think is going to happen to Rick and Stark this season? Do you think that he's going to die? And when do you think we're going to see the first big battle against the White Walkers? Now, I'm not talking about brand visions. I'm talking about actual battles south of the Wall. I wouldn't be surprised if we got a teaser at the end of the season, but it sounds like the biggest battle at the very end, like episode 8, episode 9 kind of battle, is going to be snowball stuff. I think most of the season will be consumed with that. But what's going to happen next is there's a whole bunch of stuff I'm catching up on. There's some new Star Trek. There'll be new Game of Thrones on Sunday. I'll do another bonus video. So if you have any requests, just let me know in the comments. And there is a new round of the giveaway. So all you have to do to enter is be a subscriber and leave a comment on this video. Next video should be that Star Trek video. It's almost like the Jon Snow prayer circle from the beginning of the season is turning into the Rickon prayer circle. So say your prayers for Rickon in the next couple of episodes. But while you guys wait for my next video to post, you can click here for my episode 4 video. And you can click here to learn all about what's going on with Thor 3. They just announced a whole bunch of cast members. Thank you so much for watching, everybody. Let's high five. I'll see you guys tonight.